everyone, Etta here. I'm coming to you with my empties and what I've been using for the week ending March 18th. I try to do my videos on Friday so that I can upload on Saturday for Saturday. So um, this is what I've used through March 18th. <laughs> um, it's not that much. Um, it may, I don't know, it may seem like a lot, but it really isn't. Um, a lot of these things that, you know, like vendor bags were things that were already open that I had, you know, sitting in my basket of things to finish up. So um, I'll let you know if it's something that I opened and finished within the same week. But unless it's a sample, probably not. Um, first thing is a sample from L3 Waxy Wonders of Crisp Morning Air. I did this one in the um, mudroom. It was a very large piece that I had gotten. I'm just trying to see if I have scent notes for that real quick. Uh, nope, not listed on that one. So unless it's in the house blends, I'm not going to know what it is. Um, it was nice. It was fresh. It, it threw well in the, in the mudroom. Um... Nope, she doesn't have it listed either in the house blends or in the scents. So I really can't tell you what it was. But um, I thought it was good. I liked it. It was a very large piece that I had received. Um, I did not write it down in my list of things to get a loaf in later, but I enjoyed it. This one, um, I kind of laughed. I was going to look for something for kind of coffee to do in the kitchen during the week. And I found this sample from um, Pharmacist Daughter. It's Moroccan Spiced Coffee. And I kind of laughed because I, well, I actually filmed the video already, but I have it set to air on Tuesday. Um, so this is actually coming out before that. It's an actual haul that I did with the Pharmacist Daughter. And in that haul, I got this scent thinking I had never smelled it before, which technically I guess that would be wrong because I would have sniffed this um, at least prior to ordering, right? So I did this one in the kitchen and um, I liked it. I, I thought it was good. Um, I don't remember the scent notes, but obviously it has coffee in it and I want to... Uh, no, I don't know. I, I'd be making up something at this point, but it was good. I liked it. Another one that unfortunately I don't have scent notes for. This was from the Valentine's sampler that I got from Made to Melt. This was We're Not Meant to Be. And this was like little bitty hearts. And I had four pieces left as of this morning. Um, I, I had used it. I think one, either one or one or two other times. I know one of the times I used it was in my tea light warmer in the sunroom one evening, and it did really, really well in the tea light warmer. I was just sitting there on the sofa, and it just smelled so good. It was relaxing. There's this little, it's it's like a bakery with this little hint of mint in it, and. Oh, it was, it was just delicious. I liked it. And um, so today, like I said, I had four pieces left. So I put one in each of the warmers in here. And the last one I put in the half bath. Didn't really work for the half bath. That, that bakery note that it had was kind of like, mm, yeah, wrong room for it. I, you know, I, I will do bakery in the bathroom if that's what I feel like doing. But, um, when I went in there, I was just kind of like, no, I don't like it in this room, but I still like the set. So I did that. I finished this one and I'm almost positive I did this at the same time with something else. Oh my goodness, what was it? I'm trying to find it real quick. It's probably in the I didn't finish pile. Oh, yes, it was in the I didn't finish pile. I did use up the rest of, this was already cut. I had already used it during the collab time. And this is from Vintage Chic Scents Espresso Jackie O. 
An espresso Jackio is vanilla bean cake topped with whipped marshmallows and espresso beans. It did very well by itself. I had several pieces some I put in the kitchen and the two warmers in the kitchen by themselves with nothing else. Then what I had left, I put in, and I don't remember if it was the same day or not, but I think it was. I put it in the dining room and I only had enough for the three warmers. <clears throat> and I wanted to put something, um, and like what I had left was like little bitty pieces and I really wanted to enhance the scent. I was afraid that in the dining room I wouldn't smell it enough. So let me see if I can find it from my didn't finish basket because I know that's what's in it was in here. Nope. 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 <laughs> oh, I should have had it ready. No. Oh my gosh. Sorry. I thought I had it uh, like within finger reach. It's probably okay. Either that or I pulled it. Maybe I pulled it out to use it again. And I stuck it back in the coffee basket. I don't know. Anyways, I mixed it with um, Fire Mario. So I mixed espresso jackio with fire mario sorry i thought i had it with me and um watch me find it when i'm pulling out the stuff later it did so well the two together were fantastic i mean fire mario is good anyways but um mixed with the vintage chic sense of espresso jackio oh i was like okay now i'm gonna need more espresso jackio to go with what I have a Fire Mario still. All right. Um, I did this in the kitchen one day. I think the day that I did the Moroccan spice coffee. I also did in the other warmer one from L3 of Cuban tobacco coffee bean vanilla oak. And um, it did well. I, I'm, I don't... I can't say that I got like a strong tobacco scent or anything. I mean, it's just a little sample and it's going at the same time as something else in the kitchen and I'm not like spending hours in the kitchen. So I never got any, I never got a whiff of anything I didn't like, but I can't really remember if I got, I can't really remember if it was something that I liked either. So I don't know. Um, this one I did in this room. I had three little pieces left and I really wanted to be able to enjoy it. Um, so I made a point of kind of coming in here a couple of times that day. This is from L3 Waxy Wonders and it was Rumble, Rumble Buffin? Is that what it says? Rumble Buffin? And it's Pink Sugar Rosemary Mint Amber. That is really, really nice. I really enjoy this one. I I need to leave this one on the side because I would get that one in probably a loaf at some point. This one I finished either, I think I finished it yesterday. I think it was uh, one I finished yesterday in the kitchen and it's from the pharmacist's daughter. It's called Giggle Juice. And I contemplated getting this one in a loaf um, because I really like it. But I thought, you know, I got a lot of stuff. I don't really need it right now. I'll I'll get it at some point later. So this is champagne, pink lemonade, lemon sugar, and strawberry. I thought it did. I thought it did really, really well. I like it, um, and I would absolutely get it again. This one is another one that I did in the kitchen. It was two little heart shapes. I'm looking at the sampler pack thing or whatever I can't remember oh no it's over there uh but it was two hearts and it's from Empire Alchemy and it was a uh, coffee collection so the scent is Star Spangled Cup of Joe and it's blueberry parfait raspberries and roasted coffee cupcakes at Tiffany's Danish butter cookies and considering it has that many notes, I would have thought, I really did think, oh, I'm, you know, I'm probably not even going to be able to smell it, right? Because my nose doesn't always want to pick up uh, bakery stuff. I did get coffee 
um, not super strong, but I did get coffee. And I think it was the combination of that blueberry parfait and the raspberries. I was really getting that. And it was very, very nice. Now, this little two-pack sampler, I probably got back in like July of 2021. So it was very nicely cured at this point. This one, I think, was a two-pack tart of... Uh, from L3 Waxy Wonders of Evenings in the Hamptons Blue Sugar. And I think that was just a couple of tiny little pieces left in here. And I, I used them no clue where. None. None. But I have, I it was the end of that bag. Um, so I do know that it's a scent that I like. Um, it's not a loaf-worthy scent for me, but... I did enjoy it and I mean I wouldn't be sad if I had it again I just not really looking to get any more and then the last thing I finished I had I think I had four pieces left in here and this was from a loaf um, this was my uh, custom that I had done with the pharmacist daughter back in uh, August I think the pre-order was probably like June or July. And it was the custom that I did. I named it Dancing in the Rain. And it was Graphite Type, November Rain, and White Clouds. I really, really, really like this. Um, so much so that I, I had to force myself to use the last few cubes. And I made sure to pick a day when the weather was really pretty. And I could really enjoy the nice fresh scent that I would get from this. Um, I'm definitely going to keep this bag because I think the next time they have some kind of customs, I'm going to try to get this again or ask if they'll pour it or something because I really like that scent. I just realized the microphone is really far away from me today. I must have moved it for chopping or something and forgot to move it back. Hopefully you've been able to hear me all this time. I usually talk kind of loud, so chances are you did. All right, finished. I had two cubes left of this. Uh, it's Holiday Drive, Fraser Fur, Espresso, and Bake Shop from K-Scented Melts. And I believe that is, well, not believe, I know that that is one of Dan, uh, Danny's custom creations. So really, really like that one. And I made sure to pick a day when it was actually kind of cold again. So totally enjoyed that one and would absolutely get more of that one. Um, all right, then got a couple of more things in my empties and then the empties will be done. I pulled out, let's see, let's see this one. All right. These two clamshells each only had a couple of cubes left. This one had three and I believe this one had two. Didn't use them at the same time, but I just, the other ones I did open and finish within the week. So I finished up my bar of Hendrix, which was in the last Bring Back My Bar. And love that scent. I think it's really, really nice. I finished up Hemingway, which was another one from a Bring Back My Bar a couple of, couple of turns back. And this one's really nice. It's kind of like books, uh, like a library kind of thing with an apple scent really nice um this is the one that my sister had told me to that she had mixed it with southern evening so um i don't have it here oh i think it's i think it was one of the southern southern evening bars that i had stashed in the refrigerator because it had gotten so ooky and i probably put it right back in the refrigerator after i mixed it with this and didn't pull it for the video but that's what i did i mixed that with southern evening all right, uh, these three clamshells I actually pulled out and used this week, the whole thing. Like this one I did at one time. I filled the dining room with this scent, and that is Banana Berry. I'm not a huge Banana Berry fan, and I think I have like one bar left. This one was very discolored. Like the one that I still have must be fresher, and it's kind of that creamy yellow color I think that banana berry was this one was kind of almost turning brown um 
I guess like a banana wood, right? It kind of is yellow and then it starts to turn brown, but then it kind of turns black if you let it go too long. Um, in the clamshell, it smells pretty good. It was, it was okay when it was going. I, I wasn't like super opposed to it. I'm just not crazy about it. And my goodness, I use those little cups in my um, warmer. Let's see. There's one right there. That little blue one, um, that one's for changing out when I, if I want to change it out mid-use. Um, it like stained those little things. Like I, I had pulled, the next morning I came and they were, like the machines had turned off. So they had hardened and I went to just, you know, pull them out real easy. And when I did, I was like, oh, they were like, almost like dark brown and black at the bottom of the little liner and I thought oh gosh I don't even want to put the next wax in here until I clean it so I went and got a cotton swab and put some alcohol on it and you know tried to clean the inside out that cotton swab got so disgusting I had to go get another one it, it that's how much residue it left in the liner I was like I was thankful it wasn't directly in the dish I was like yuck so I only have one more to go so um, then I pulled one of the ones that I truly love and that is vanilla suede, vanilla suede and vanilla oud are just loves for me. So man, I could use this one all the time. Oh my gosh. I think you already know that I absolutely love that one. And then the last one I opened up and I used the whole thing, um, one one day like two or three days ago because it was kind of cool again and I thought okay let me get something a little more winter like or that would have been in the fall season kind of thing this was from a bring back my bar and it is lavender and white balsam and I want to try to dupe this I guess I know it was it was it possibly still is in the um it was in the flash sale, which this will go up super early Saturday morning. So the flash sale, I think, is until like 10 a.m. Pacific, which would be noon my time. Um, so you possibly would still have time to look for it. Uh, but if you look at if you happen to watch the video after that, well, then it would probably be too late. But it's such a beautiful scent. I love it, love it, love it. And I looked up what the description was and it's like, sweet lavender with winter white balsam and something amber like some kind of amber so I was like I want to see if I can I'm sure I'm not gonna get exact there's no way because I don't have the exact oils or anything or the pro you know the proportions that they use but I am coming up on, it's almost my turn on the customs list for L3. And I was like, you know what? I've been searching. I've, that's why I've got her scent list. Because I have been searching and searching, trying to figure out what three scents can I put together between lavender, the, ball, the winter white balsam, and amber. And see if I can kind of come up with something close to this. Even if I can get it close, I'll be happy. Because that is such a beautiful scent. All right. That's that's my story. All right. This is what I started on this week and didn't finish. And probably missed putting some things in. Um, this one I had going. I did it in here one day. I chopped up. This was a one of those uh, Bitty Betty loaves. And I chopped up this one here called Sazanac. And uh, I did look up Sazanac. Sorry, Sazanac. I think it was in her house blends. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Sazanac. Gaelic term meaning, meaning of English descent. Nutty caramel apple, apple butterscotch cake, and toasted marshmallow. It is a very pretty scent. But you know what? I don't get... I don't get like an apple from it. Maybe because of the nutty caramel and the butterscotch and the toasted marshmallow. It just makes it so sweet. Not so sweet that I can't take it, but it makes it so sweet that I 
actually thought that it kind of reminded me more of, um, what is it, Fresh from the Oven, which has pears. I like it. I just don't get apple from it. But um, loaf? No, not for me. Um, but it is a very pretty scent, and I do enjoy it. Let's see. Another one that I had a bitty bitty loaf in, um, and I decided to chop that one also from L3, is Fat Bottom Girls White Elephant Exchange. Did that one, I think I might have done a little bit in the kitchen, and then... And I don't know if I'm going to have that one in here. I probably, it's not one that I wanted to look up. Like I had no, I, <coughs> excuse me, had no plans of duping it or anything. Let's see. Fat Bottom Girl says, we are making the rock and whirl go round with this ultimate bakery blend. Cupcakes at Tiffany's, don't cross streams, and sweet vanilla sponge sugar. All right, it's, it, I mean, it's not bad, and a lot of people already know what White Elephant Exchange is, so it, it was good, but, you know, not not a favorite for me, but that's, again, I'm not a huge bakery person, so that would fall more in that category, so, hmm. Let's see, I did, now this one, I definitely think I'm going to put on my loaf-worthy list from L3, and that is Purple People Eater. I had a have a matrix melt and I used twice now. Um, Purple People Eater says lavender vanilla, which I've never been a lavender person, but it really works in here. Lavender vanilla, toasted mallow, and black amber. Very, very nice. I like that one. I'm trying to see if I have any other L3. Mm. Oh, I do have, um, when I got to chopping those little bitty betties, I did chop a couple of loaves and I decided to go ahead and chop this one because this one just sounds like something I would like from L3 and I definitely do like it. It's called Neptune's Neep and it has rosemary, mint, sea tides, and abalone. And then it says incredible fresh blend. It is a very nice blend. It's very, very nice. I'm enjoying it. Um, I do love rosemary mint. I like her rosemary mint. Um, I think it does really well. Um, so I'm enjoying that one also. And the other loaf I decided I wanted to chop up. Even though I said I was going to work on all the other stuff and not so much the loaves, I, I broke down and there was a couple of loaves I wanted to do. So... I chopped them up. The other one, L3 Waxy Wonders, it's called Full Metal Alchemist. And it's salty sea air and stainless steel. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And I've tried it in several rooms now, including the sunroom. And it does beautiful in the sunroom. I love it. I have this loaf and I will absolutely get another one at some point later on in life <laughs> when I have room to put more loaves. No need for them now. All right. I did this from Vintage Chic Sense. I had already cut this and used up a couple of more pieces of Jackie O's peanut butter zucchini bread, which is vanilla bean zucchini cake topped with whipped marshmallows and peanut butter drizzle. Very, very good also. In fact, I might have mixed a little bit of this also with the Fire, fire Mario. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Let's see. Oh, another, this was another Bitty Betty loaf uh, from L3. And I chopped this one up and I used some of it today in the kitchen. And... I think I did it in the sunroom. Can't remember. Um, it was either the sunroom or the dining room. I know I've smelled it. I just can't remember what room. And it's Raspberry Whip White Elephant Exchange. It's a very, very pretty scent. Um, 
for me, I feel like it would be more of a mixer. Like, I think it smells good. I love the way it smells, but it's not, it's not strong enough to carry the day for me. Like, it's, it, it's not carrying a room. I feel like maybe in here it would, but it's not carrying a room anywhere else. So, um, my son just showed up at the front door. I don't know why. He probably realized I'm making a video and thought, oops, I better not ring the doorbell. Um, here's a clamshell that I started this week. I need to get through the ones that I still have now that I know that my husband's not crazy about it. Um, and I did this one in the dining room. He didn't say anything, I guess, because it was in our bedroom. He didn't really notice. So that was coconut cotton. I did four cubes in the dining room. Then I here's uh, Metal Mario. I said I had done this one and I, I like Metal Mario. It's stainless steel and seductive quiet man. I don't know if it's coming from the stainless steel or because I don't know what's in Seductive Quiet Man, but I get a very pronounced powder scent from it. And I know sometimes I can get that from stainless steel, um, but this, I mean, it's a very strong scent and the powder is very strong too. So I like it. I've got a half pie of it. I will use it. Um, I might try blending it with something and seeing if I kind of cut some of that powder scent out of it. I also did three red shells from Rose Girls, uh, Rosemary Mint, Gilligan's Brew, and Vanilla Lace. This one is absolutely beautiful. I really, really like this one. Um, I also did Salted Caramel Latte Cookie Land. Did a couple little cubes, I think, in the kitchen one morning for like a coffee kind of scent. And I would have probably done this one at the same time. It's from Rose Girls. It's the Streusel Cushion. I think that's how you say it. I have no idea. And let's see. I got two more things. I did. Um, this was, these were actually souffles. And I had several souffles. So what I did was I pulled a extra bag that I had and I cut up the two souffles and put it in like what I would consider a loaf bag and it's from the pharmacist's daughter it's called clean shave and clean shave and I put a label on each side when I took it off of the souffles clean shave is barbershop rosemary mint and I love this one I, I think I still have two other souffles because that's how much I loved it I Again, I like rosemary mint and then mix with the barbershop. It does really, really well. And when I get closer to finishing this, I'll probably cut up the other two souffles and put them in here also. And then the very last thing I really wanted to try, um, I kind of, this is the one that I had said from Made to Melt that I kind of bought by mistake. I meant to get a different scent and I picked up this one and it's called Bedrock. You can't hardly see that, I'm sure. Um, but it it's a, called a Popum. I think it's like a one ounce. Yeah, it says one ounce. So it's a one ounce square and I kind of cut off a piece and I wanted to see if I liked it. Um, it has a nice minty scent on, on cold and um, I tried it in the half bath. And I've said before, sometimes I forget what I have going in certain rooms. And I kept, you know, I'd go into the bathroom and I'd think, wow, what is that scent? It is gorgeous. It has, it reminded me of like a rosemary mint. That's the kind of vibe I got from the mint coming from it. But I could smell the, the like earthiness of what would be the bedrock in there. Not that that's the oil, but you know what you would think of made up make up the name for bedrock i could get that vibe from it behind the mint it was beautiful i loved it i only tried it so far in the half bath but it did really really well it smelled gorgeous um i have to test it now i'm gonna have to 
see if how it'll do like I'm gonna try to do this piece and maybe cut it in half and just use two of the warmers in here and try it in here and see how well it does in here but the scent itself beautiful I really really enjoyed it so anyways that's what I did for this week that's what I finished that's what I worked on and I guess I'll be back next week but don't forget I do have another video that I've already already recorded and it's set for Tuesday I hope that you'll enjoy that one but until next time enjoy your sense enjoy your day and enjoy your journey talk to you later bye